Good evening, I'm Holden Absher. Marion County Health Authorities reported the first two probable cases of monkeypox today. The U.S. Center for Disease Control has confirmed 10 cases in Indiana. The first was reported on June 18th. The risk of transmission is still very low, and public health experts say the average Hoosier shouldn't be too worried. Officials say men who have sex with men appear to be at greatest risk, but the virus can still spread through close contact with an infected person's sores or with objects like their towels or bed sheets. Bloomington Plan Commission Monday granted major site plan approval for a new People State Bank headquarters. The company is looking to replace its existing branch at the corner of Walnut Avenue and 17th Street with a 34,000 square foot building. We're starting to see more investments and more uh, developments on the north side, but it's been slow to develop compared to the rest of the downtown area. So I think this is a huge step. People State Bank was founded in Ellettsville in 1904 and is still locally owned. IU Athletics will no longer take cash for tickets, concessions, and merchandise purchases at all IU Athletic venues. The move announced today is effective immediately. IU says the change is designed to improve experience for fans by reducing the amount of time they're waiting in lines. Major credit cards, Apple Pay, and Google Pay will be accepted on game days and at the IU team store. And now for a quick look at the weather. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low of 64 degrees. Looking ahead at the five-day forecast, sunny for the next two days with a high of 85 degrees. Chance of storms this weekend with a high of 87 Saturday, high of 84 both Sunday and Monday. For more local news, go to WTIUNews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6. Have a good night.